Howdy champs, my name is Mohit and people today uh, let me start off with my local site folder, the folder where all the assets are located uh, locally you see this is the HTML uh, CSS document, this is the only image that I have Okay, and using this image actually strictly speaking this is the only asset I have I'll talk about this this um, we, we can loosely call it an asset although this is not compulsory okay so just you know using this single image this asset I'm gonna create the uh, Indian tricolor the Indian flag this way okay and uh, again I have injected a lot of CSS that's exactly what I've been doing over and over again now this tutorial is simple among the so many complex tutorials that I've been throwing off late and I just thought that uh, it's, it's best to you know even uh, keep certain things simple you know, so that the basics for uh, most of you watchers improve okay this is this is I, I, I think probably a repetition of uh, what I've been doing uh, since a long long time but then you know presenting the same truth uh, again and again in different manners through different examples and illustrations makes it sink in uh, it assimilates over time right so let's see how you know this relatively easy example was actually done now people what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scrap the whole code almost the whole code and uh, and then we'll start recreating it okay I'm just demolishing what I feel should be demolished okay now you see I'm actually working with HTML5 doc type uh, in the opening and the closing style tags people uh, you see I've applied a margin of 100 px that's gonna create a question all over of 100 px I have a rule div dot flag basically will get applied to all divs with the class flag and a pseudo uh, element colon after rule create some content after this division okay and then we have script tags pointing to js dot prefix dot min dot js file basically this file now how this file actually helps is that you can write your css3 prefix free vendor prefix free you don't need to include dash webkit dash dash or dash 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 etc you know for uh, cross browser compatibility you just need to point to the single file and you're actually done you can request for the file I'll, i can mail it to you no problem so that's a javascript fallback awesome and if you look inside the opening and the closing body tags people I have a div which has a class of flag and which I'm gonna define out here div dot flag I'm gonna define out here all divs that carry the class flag I'm gonna define out here let's do that quickly so let's uh, say a width of uh, 640 plus a height of uh, 3 six three hit tab now if you're wondering how did the code actually expand this way it's because I'm using uh, using code assist package emit that allows you to code real quick it's a package you need to you know include it after you download a sublime text through a certain procedure which I'm not going to talk about now okay so and uh, <coughs> okay so I have a width and a height ready next uh, let's uh, go with background short and property people you know with this example you'll learn a lot about background short and property and then in the background people I can include linear gradients it's allowed now actually it's allowed since a long long time now uh, linear gradients okay so um, you know when you don't specify the direction it's always top bottom so I'm gonna start with the um, the tri colors, the Indian flag colors, saffron, white, and um, green. Since uh, we don't have uh, saffron as the HTML color name, I'm going to use dark orange, which is almost the same. So dark orange, white, and uh, in fact rather than start with the linear gradient let me start with the image itself so how about simply you know going with the URL and uh, it's important that you include the image first the reason is whatever appears first will appear on the top what appears last will appear at the bottom you'll soon see what I mean by that okay 
I want the Ashoka Chakra to appear at the top. And if I were to save the document up now, bring the browser up, and if I were to refresh, there you go. This is the way things look like right now. Okay, so I need to make sure that I don't repeat myself. And let's bring the browser up. And let's refresh to see the change. Okay. Uh, I would want a subtle border. A subtle border. I'm going to use box shadow rather than use the actual border because I would want to be a, a little blurry and a little subtle. So let me say 0px, 0px, basically no displacement along the x and the y axis. Mm, let's say a 5px of blurriness, 1px of uh, uh, spread, and uh, let's say a silver color that's actually inset. Okay, let's see the result. Okay, there you go. Now the problem out here is the Ashoka chakra is too big for the flag so I need to condense it and also get it in the center so let's do that so how do you get it in the center it's very easy people after the no you know just before the no repeat uh, additional option parameter I can say center center along the x and the y axis okay simply doing this this is the way the short and back you know uh, background short and property actually works it's actually pushed inside the center of the division already and um, at the same time, as I said, the background size, let's define it as 110, 110, 110 width, 110 height. Okay, see people, this is how you use the background shorten property along with the back background size. Okay has gone in where I actually want it. But you see, I've actually experimented. It's not exactly in the center. Why? Because the image is slightly, you know, uh, uh, it's not exactly symmetrical. So I'm going to make a change to the y-axis. I'm going to set it at 49% because I've seen that actually works best. That works best. So this, there's going to be a subtle uh, shift, but now it's bang in the center. And the the culprit was the image people. It was not a very, it was not a completely symmetrical image. Uh, I actually cropped it from a source, and I didn't crop properly. Right, let me show that to you, so you'll understand why that you know this is the image. Let me, uh, you see, this image was cropped from a source and not cropped properly. So the white area here and the white area at the bottom are not equal. That's the reason why I was uh, needed to make that adjustment along the y-axis. Along the x-center is fine. I can even write 50% out here which is okay. Alright. Now with the ba background chart and property I'm allowed to use comma separated values. So I'm going to comma separate it and then use linear gradient. Okay. That's, mm, that's a possibility. And as I said I'm going to go with colors dark orange equivalent to almost equivalent to saffron dark orange orange and white and green mm. right so let's save the uh, document up bring the browser up and let's refresh to see the change now you see it's a repeating band and it's repeating simply because um, I have defined the background size 110, 110, which is also getting applied to the linear gradient. So the linear gradient is getting smaller. How you how do you control that? You just uh, comma separate and write auto, which means for the second image I don't want any uh, background size uh, constraint. I don't want the background size to be constrained. I just want it to be automatic. Whatever is is should be as is. So that's why auto. And now you see the uh, you know it, it won't be 110 anymore. Perfect. But uh, you see, if I insert the color stops properly, I'm gonna get the end result the way I should actually get. It's very easy actually. Uh, so you see, 33 percent is where you would want the dark orange. The color stops are 33 and 66. That's how you're gonna divide. You know. Uh, a vertical band 
3366 that's where you're going to insert your uh, vertical stops obviously so 33 percent and that's where the white should also start when one color ends at 33 the other starts at uh, 33 that's going to leave a hard edge I'm going to show that to you like this cool and then I would want my white to continue up till 66 percent sorry 66 percent comma save bring the browser up let's refresh okay and now let's make it a little harder again the same uh, act people the same trick the same method one color ends at 66 the other starts at 66 at the same position that's going to leave a hard edge there you go so I'm actually done with the uh, flag you see now I have to tackle the other rule uh, which is uh, flag after so if you know how to work with colon after and before rules you should use the content property this way empty content then style the content people I'm gonna insert a division so uh, let's say um, a height of let's say 800 plus a width of let's say a 50 that's a W50 and tab sorry make sure the cursor is at the end and then tab okay very cool and then I'm gonna apply background property all over again so background and again linear dash gradient okay and uh, this time I would want it to be silver gray or whatever right but to right so from left to the right this is the modern syntax people right oh so let's bring the browser up let's refresh to s okay why this has not appeared is for the first rule make sure that the position is actually set to relative tab and for the other rule that's the after rule inserting content after the it should be position absolute only then can you place the content after relative to the earlier rule or the div dot flag rule okay in relation to this I can place this only if the first rule is relative and the second is absolute right oh there you go there is our uh, you know the uh, rod that's actually holding the flag I'm gonna give my rod some round edges here at the top that's pretty easy people first of all let's shift it a little upwards so a top of let's say minus 10 px by default it is top 0 left 0 unless uh, until you specify a different value okay so t that's gonna make sure that the rod is gonna protrude upwards and then I'm gonna use the border uh, radius property and it's gonna be 15 px 15 px 0 0 so top left top right uh, bottom right bottom left all four corners uh, tackled okay so just want the top left top right corners to be rounded that's it mm. and let's see the end product then there you go it's gonna protuberance gonna get uh, a little rounded and this is the end product people okay wasn't too difficult actually um, I would still say it's uh, it's one of my simpler tutorials where I actually repeated myself uh, but you see reiteration is important it's important to even for my me you know after having uh, worked on so many tutorials and I've used the background properties so very often I've shown it through many many different examples uh, yet uh, you know it's important that you watch you see different examples and different taste that is going to stimulate different areas of your taste buds it's important uh, that you you know see different variations from time to time because it's only then that the um, actual concept is going to sink in real deep and you're not going to lose it it's going to become second nature and uh, you're going to become a very good CSS uh, creator
I hope you found this information useful. Uh, please thumb the video up, please subscribe, please comment and please criticize too. Um, I may be good with CSS but I know the way I express myself uh, has still a lot uh, of uh, it has a uh, you know there's a uh, room for improvement i would want you to especially if you're good with your uh, linguistic skills if you speak well let me know how i can actually improve on that you have a good day bye bye peace